Well, after months and, no and plenty of games, it is finally time to crown the champion of the Baseball Classic 1, a one-and-done single elimination tournament. It is time to get our championship game moving. And first, let's show you how each of the players of the teams got here. Your teams, first representing the AL, the Minnesota Twins. How they got here? Knocked off the Oakland, or sorry, knocked off the Tampa Bay Rays. Final score there, nine to three. Then they went on and knocked off the Minnesota Twins, or sorry, knocked off the New York Yankees, three to one. And then the Blue Jays, the reigning world champions, one nothing. And then won an exciting AL championship game against the Cleveland Indians, four to two. And your NL champion, Washington Nationals. They got a. They were the number one seed in the NL. They are also the defending National League champions. So congratulations to them, winning two back to two pennants in a row. Well, they got the first round by because they were the best team in the National League. They beat the Brewers in that game six to three, and then played the Arizona Diamondbacks in a bizarre walk-off walk. They would win that one two to one, then beat the Nationals or meet, beat the Dodgers one nothing, and they take on the Minnesota Twins. Tonight's starters for the Washington Nationals, it will be Matt Scherzer. And for the Minnesota Twins, Bartolo Colon. Big sexy going up there for the, Na the uh, Twins. So let's go ahead and take you out to Nationals Park on a beautiful night in our nation's capital. Uh, you can ignore the bracket. That's just the bracket I had to set in order to get these two teams to the championship. As you, it, this game in Washington, as it should be, them being the top seed. We are using MLB The Show 14. Next time, next baseball class, we will be shifting to MLB The Show 16. And look at this. A beautiful sight in Nationals Park. The World Championship. On the line, the Commissioner's Trophy will be lifted tonight by one of these two teams. The Nationals Heartbreak got to watch the Toronto Blue Jays do it at the Rogers Center. But here we are in the Nationals home field to decide who will be the world champion now. There are the, There is the team info, Joe Maurer, Brian Dozier, Bartolo Colon, and Nick Ricky Nolasco highlighting the Twins. Catch the Nationals. Minnesota Twins going to trot out Bartolo Colon. Backing him up will be a lineup featuring Presley, Flormion, Maurer, Sano, Castro, Willingham, Arcia, and Dozer as the Nationals, the two time defending now National League champions, as they are introduced. We'll be trotting out Murphy, Span, Zimmerman, Rock, Ramos. Harper is off back from injury. LaRoach, Worth, Desmond, and he will be back. They will be backing up Scherzer as we get the national anthem going. And here we are. Took us long enough to get here, right? Minnesota Twins, Washington Nationals, World Championship game. And here come the Washington Nationals onto the field and listen to that roar of the crowd as they come on. For the Nationals, they have an outfield featuring Worth in left field, Span in center field, and Harper in right field. Infield featuring LaRoche at first base, Murphy at second base, Zimmerman at third, shortstop Desmond, and a battery featuring uh, Weeders, or sorry, Ramos, catching Scherzer. There's your Minnesota Twins lineup. As Presley will lead it off for us here in this World Championship game. Scherzer won the divisional game against the Arizona Diamondbacks to put them in to the championship game where Strasburg cleaned it up. Should be very interesting to see how Dusty Baker uses the rest of his pitching stash or staff in this 
one and done championship game. This is about as good as a game seven here, folks, as Alex Presley will lead us off. The center fielder. Scherzer kicks and deals on a 1-1 count. Swing and a miss, and it's 1-2. 51 degrees, clear skies, wind blowing 8 miles per hour out to right field. So you couldn't ask for a more beautiful day for a championship matchup. Scherzer looking in, kicks and fires. And it's going to be low, change up. And it's 2-2. Two -two. Scherzer getting ready to go. Shakes off the first sign from Ramos. Kicks and fires. This one. Ground ball right to Murphy. Fires it to Zimmerman, and that's number one. I'm sorry, Laura Roach. Zimmerman's playing third base. My apologies. And that is going to be out number one for the Washington Nationals. There is the out, the uh, defense that we talked about. As we check in on the chat room here. If you're watching live, we'd love to hear from you in the chat room. As now Pedro Flormion. Shortstop will be the next batter. Joining on a 1 1 count, one down, top of the first world championship game. And the pitch from Scherzer in the zone to Seamer. 1 2. Should be a very exciting game. It is very loud here as the Washington Nationals fans want a world championship tonight as Scherzer kicks and fires on a 1 2 count. Swings and he will stay alive. So far, so good. Count will stay 1 2. The delivery by Scherzer. Swing and a miss, and down goes Florian. You cannot ask for a better start if you're Max Scherzer right now. Two up, two down. And the Washington Nationals looking pretty confident right now, but here comes Joey Mauer, franchise legend for the Twins. 2-1 count. And the delivery. High, and it's now 31. Miguel Sano on deck. He was injured in the AL Championship game. Or during the AL Championship game, he is back. The biggest bats for each team were injured during their pennant games, and they are back tonight as you see Bryce Harper in right field, and Sano will be up if we can get past Mauer. As Mauer takes a strike. 3-2 the count. Looking in. And the pitch. This one. Fly ball into center left field. Back goes Span. Catches it just shy of the track. And the Nationals get out of the first inning unharmed. So nothing, nothing. Washington will have their turn when we come back. Welcome back to our nation's capital. We now will show you the batting order for the reigning two-time NL champion, Washington Nationals. Wilson Ramos gets to start over Mal Wieters. Very curious call by Dusty Baker, but that's the way it's going to be. And now here's the defense for the Minnesota Twins. It consists of the following. Outfield featuring Presley in center field, Willingham in left field, and Arcia in right field. Infield featuring Mauer at first, Dozier at second, Sano at third, and shortstop Flormion, and it will feature Castro catching Cologne. A lot of people were surprised that it was not Irvin Santana going out for the Minnesota Twins, but the Twins manager said, I want Cologne out there. He has earned this opportunity to start a world championship game and give us a chance to win this thing. First world championship since 1991 for the Minnesota Twins should they win. And if the other side should win, it would be the Washington Nationals first. Daniel Murphy leading it off for the Washington Nationals, joined it on a 1-1 count. Cologne made it to a World Championship scenario once back in 2014, I'm sorry, 2015, with the New York Mets, but fell to the Royals. As Murphy will foul that one off, and it's a 1-2 count. Cologne kicks and fires. This one right up the middle. That's a base hit for the leadoff man for Washington. And things could not start any better if you were a Washington Nationals fan or you're pulling for them in this championship game. 
Daniel Murphy, leadoff man, and he's on. Now here comes Denard Span. 111 average, and the count's 1-2. Colon sets and delivers. This one popped up high. Castro throws off his mask, has a play, and makes it a fairly easy basket catch. And here comes Ryan Zimmerman, the third base. One down, one on, and it's nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the first World Championship game. I'm going to repeat that because it is a big deal. Colon kicks and fires. In the zone, and that's going to be a strike, 2-2. Two, two. You just get the feeling that in this game, every pitch is going to mean something. Cologne agrees with the sign from Castro. Kicks and deals. This one fouled behind the first base dugout. All the pundits have Washington winning this game. That doesn't scare Minnesota at all, as they weren't supposed to even be here tonight. It was supposed to be the Cleveland Twins if the pundits were right, as Zimmerman will foul that one off. Zimmerman getting set. Kicks and delivers. And it's going to be fouled off again. Cologne working hard already. Good start for the Washington Nationals. Only one down and one off. And they're making him work. Is this one fly ball into right field? This should be a good play for Arcia, who makes the catch, and it's going to hold Murphy at first. So it's two down. And of course, there's that bracket we had to do to make it possible for the Nationals and the Twins to meet up. That trophy right there in the middle, that's what they're all competing for. As Wilson Ramos will be the cleanup man tonight in Dusty Baker's powerful lineup. 1-1 one, one counts. And the delivery. This one, fly ball. Or not even a fly ball, beautiful uh, play by the shortstop, Flormion. Sorry, my walked away from my screen for a little bit. Probably shouldn't have done that as he pitches it to second, gets Murphy, and that ends the inning. So after one, it is still nothing, nothing. Back to the nation's capital after this. Welcome back, Miguel Sano. Leading it off for the Minnesota Twins. As we mentioned earlier, he was injured during the pennant game, and it is an 0-2 count to the power hitting third baseman, the pitch. And that's gonna be just high in the zone for a ball. Max Scherzer wanting this to work out beautifully for himself and the pitch. And that's gonna be just inside. So it was an 0-2 count, it's a 2-2 count. Can Sano work it full? Well, we're about to find out. Sano, one of the more disciplined players on the MLB circuit. And the pitch. Curveball, low, and now it's a full count. Jason Castro on deck for the Twins. So Scherzer needs to make up his mind if he's going to take a chance on walking Sano or if he's going to give him something and let his outfield do the trick. And the pitch. Swing at a miss at one down low. Some housekeeping to do as Ramos fires to LaRoche, and that's going to be out number one. play there. Good heads up by Ramos. Here comes Jason Castro. Joining it on a full count. Scherzer looking in. Kicks and fires. This one grounded across the third baseline. Foul. Scherzer looking in. The delivery and the pitch. This one popped up way high. LaRoche is going to get this one no problem, and that's going to be two down. So Sano and Castro go out, and the Minnesota Twins are 
Needing a little bit of help now. Here comes Josh Willingham. Left fielder. One one count. And the pitch. It's gonna be high and outside. It's two one. Scherzer taking his time, looking in. And the delivery, here we go. That's in the zone, low, 2-2. Two, two. Scherzer taking his time. And the pitch. Fly ball, center left field. You can forget about this one, clear for landing. What a shot by the left fielder Willingham and the Minnesota Twins strike first. Absolute moonbeam. Willingham nails that one. And the Twins go up first. It's 1-0 Minnesota here in the top of the second. Josh Willingham, my goodness, 420 feet. This sucker lands way high in the lower deck as Oswaldo Arcia, the right fielder, will now come on after the shot. So 2-1 count is where we're going to join it. And the pitch. Fly ball, but it's headed foul across the third base line. What a shot by Willingham. And now this just builds all the momentum behind Minnesota. They lead this one 1-0 one as this one's in the dirt. Ramos is going to have some housekeeping to do again. And that's going to end the inning. But the damage is done. Willingham, 420 feet into center left. And it's 1-0 Minnesota World Championship game. Washington has got to an answer. And Bryce Harper will be the man leading off for him. Harper joined it on a 2-2 count. And the pitch. This one. Line drive into shallow right field. It's down and Bryce Harper's on. Harper had a great game in the World Championship last year. Just everybody else couldn't pick up after him. Adam LaRoche, the first baseman, is going to be our next batter. Time run on for Washington. Nobody down. And this crowd is ready to explode. 1-1 one, one count. Righty to lefty the pitch. In the ground. Change up 2-1. The one looking in. Gets the Simon Castro. Sets. Throw back to get Harper. They're going to get him by a mile. I don't know what Bryce Harper was thinking. He was off in La La Land in his own city of stars, and he just, I could not believe that that play just happened. That might have been the most important play of the game. Bryce Harper just caught snoozing and wakes up to the alarm of the umpire saying you're out. And now Cologne puts in a slider on a check swing. On LaRoche, make it 2-2. Cologne with the pitch. This one fouled off. Wow, I still cannot believe that that happened to Bryce Harper. Cologne, 2-2. And the pitch. This one. Lined right at Sano, he makes the grab, and that's going to be out number two. Sano was just in the right place at the right time. Look at this. Doesn't hardly have to move at all to make that play. 
And now Jason Wirth. His final game in a Washington Nationals uniform is we have learned that Jason Worth will be moving on after this season. 2-2 two, two count. And what a way to send him out of Washington with, with the World Championship. As it's inside, full count with Ian Desmond on deck. Cologne looking in. And the pitch. Worth, ground ball. Right to Dozier, goes to Maurer, and that's going to be out number three. So the Minnesota Twins get out of one fairly quickly. It's one nothing after two, Minnesota. And right now, it looks like there could be the story of a lot of missed opportunities for the Washington Nationals. Brian Dozier leading off for the Minnesota Twins. 1-1 one, one count, and the pitch. In the zone, slider. Beautiful pitch by Scherzer. Looked like it was going to drop a little bit more, but it found the zone in the glove of Wilson Ramos. Scherzer gets the sign. And the delivery. Swung, and it's fouled to stay alive. 1-2 the count. Scherzer with the pitch. And it's outside. Change up 2-2. Two -two. The crowd wants this one. And the pitch. Fly ball, but it's popped too high. Should be an easy play for LaRoche, and it is. That's one down. Bartolo Colon, the pitcher, will be the next batter. He steps in in the third with a one-run lead. Thanks to Josh Willingham's laser beam into the right center bleachers. Joining on a 31 count. Colon working that bat against Scherzer and the pitch. In the zone, it's full. 94, uh, 93 mile an hour, forcing fastball. Colon will step in. Cologne with the pitch. Or sorry, Scherzer with the pitch to Cologne, swing and a miss, and that's going to now make it full. Scherzer with the payoff. Swing and a miss, and down he goes, which is probably for the best because he needs to get ready to pitch in the bottom of the third. And we have Al Red Sox fan joining us in the stands for our world championship game. Big matchup, Al. You missed the moon shot by Josh Willingham into center left to make this one nothing, and that's about all that's happened. Alex Presley, leadoff man at the top of the order for the Twins, gets a one-two delivery from Scherzer in the zone, and down he goes. A one-two-three inning for Max Scherzer, and we're at the bottom of the third. It's one nothing, Minnesota. Also, Al, I don't know if you saw it in time, but Bryce Harper got picked off by a mile at first. You'll have to go back and see that. It, I couldn't believe it. 2-1 count to Zimmerman. Cl tries to lay down a drag bunt, but it doesn't work out. 2-2. Two -two. Cologne shakes off the sign from Castro as a swing and a miss, and down goes Zimmerman. And the Washington Nationals starting to look like the same way they did in last year's World Championship against the Toronto Blue Jays. Just not capitalizing on opportunities. And they've had them. Here comes Max Scherzer. Join it on a 3-0 count. So Scherzer in return working in that bat against Cologne and the pitch. High and Scherzer's on base. How about that, Max Scherzer. That's the one thing that Washington has done consistently every inning that Minnesota has not, and that is they have gotten base runners on every inning. So they have opportunities, they just have not been capitalized on them, capitalizing on them. Turn it on a 2-2 count to Murphy. He's one for one with a single back in the first and the pitch. Murphy, ground ball to the shortstop. 
And the throw to Dozier, he dropped the ball. And now Scherzer is gonna get there. And it looks like, Wash and they called him out. And it looks like we're gonna have a challenge. Or an argument of some sort. Something's up here. As the call on the field is out. This is 2014, so I can't remember if they have the challenge rule or not. No, he's just gonna argue the call. And Flormion with a good pitch over to, to Dozier, he dropped the ball. I don't know how you could call him safe. 2-1 to Span and the pitch. It's gonna be outside. It's now 31 with Ryan Zimmerman on deck. Cologne, big sexy, getting ready to go. It's 3-1. I can say sexy right out. And the pitch popped up high. Castro throws it off and another easy play behind the plate for the former Astros catcher as he will end this one. So once again, Washington not capitalizing. However, they have a legitimate gripe on that call at second with Scherzer. It's 1-0 going into the fourth. Flormion, Maurer, and Sano do up for the Twins. Pedro Florian, the short stop, 2-2 count, top of the fourth. And the delivery from Scherzer. This one, chopper right to the short stop over to LaRoche, and that's out number one. Ian Desmond, quick play there. And now here comes Joe Maurer. 0 for 1, fly out in the first. Turn it on a 1-1 count. Scherzer looking in and the delivery. In the zone, slider, beautiful pitch by Mad Max. 1-2 the count. Scherzer has pitched three and a third. 49 pitches, I believe. And this one popped up high. Denard Span ranges over, makes the catch, and that's an easy out number two. Bartolo Colon has reached 94. Max Scherzer has reached 96 for their top speeds tonight. As Miguel Sano will step in to face him. So no, 0 for 1, struck out in the second. Join it on a full count. 54 pitches thrown by Max through four and two thirds, three and two thirds. And the pitch, this one, above the glove of LaRoche, perfectly hit along the first baseline. So no, rounding first, headed for second. Throw by Harper is gonna be in time to hold him at second, but it's a stand up double by Miguel Sano. So another opportunity here for the Minnesota Twins is now Jason Castro step in. He's 0 for 1, popped out in the second. Join it on a full count. So no, with it somewhat of a lead, tempting Max as he looks back at him and the pitch. This one popped up high. Denard Span ranging to his left, catches it just shy of the track, and that'll end the top of the fourth. So it's still 1-0. Minnesota gets a base runner, but strands him at second. Checking in on the chat room. Uh, Our Red Sox fan says, I will have to check the pick off later. Going to enjoy the rest of your call now. Well, I greatly appreciate that. Well, as Ryan Zimmerman will st step in to face Cologne. Bottom of the fourth, joining it on a full count. Cologne, four innings pitched so far. And here comes the next pitch. This one fouled off. So in his four innings pitched so far, his pitch count, he was around 49. As this one, ground ball right between second and short, and that's a good base hit for Zimmerman. Formion didn't have a prayer of getting that one. So the tying run on for Washington. Uh, 
as now Wilson Ramos will step in. Throwing it on a 31 count. And the delivery. That's in the zone, it's full now. Bartolo Colon doing the everything he can to keep this going here in the fourth. Tying run on, fan on their fans on their feet. Full count and the delivery. This one, chopper right to Dozier. Dozier, Flormion, Flormion, back to Mauer, double play. And the Twins kill the momentum of the Nationals with now two down instead of one down with Bryce Harper coming. Harper is one for one with a single in the second, but as we talked about earlier, got picked off on a bonehead play at first. 0-2 the count from Cologne to Harper. That's gonna be outside. So it's 1-2 now. Minnesota looking to get into the fifth with this one run lead. Cologne agrees on the call from Castro. And the delivery. Swing and a miss and Harper goes down. Bartolo Colon continuing his dominance of the Washington Nationals. It's one nothing. Josh Willingham, solo home run back in the second, a 420 foot solo shot to center left. Absolutely posterized that ball as Scherzer will bring up a 2-2 count on him. And the delivery, and he fouls that one off. Scherzer with the pitch. Swing and a miss, and out on 95 mile an hour fastball. Scherzer says, take that. And now they're even with each other as Scherzer struck him out after the last at time Willingham faced him. He absolutely murdered him. Here comes Oswaldo Arcia, the right fielder. Join in on a 2 2 count. Tyler Clippard in the bullpen for the Nationals right now. And the pitch. This one popped up high and then going foul. Into the stands behind third base. Scherzer looking in and the pitch. And that's going to be fouled behind the Twins' bullpen just off of third. Arcia, 2-2 two -two count still. And the delivery from Scherzer. Outside, full count, slider, slider with Brian Dozier on deck. Arcia trying to keep this at back going. And the delivery. Swing, this one, right to the glove of LaRoche. That's out, number three, er, one. Brian Dozier, 0 for 1, popped out in the third. And that is, was out number two, my apology, as we join it on a full count. Righty to righty, and the delivery. This one popped up high, should be an easy play for Murphy who goes out to the shallow center field grass, makes the grab, and here we go. LaRoche, Worth, and Desmond do up at this halfway point. We are four and a half through the scheduled nine rounder. It's one to nothing, Minnesota. Adam LaRoche, 0 for one with a line out in the second. As the Nationals find themselves in the mid part of this ball game, Trailing 1-0. Steps in and we join it on a 1-1 count. And the pitch. This one fouled off behind the stands. And the stands behind third base. Cologne with the delivery. And that's going to be a two seamer outside. 2-2 two, two the count. Talk about the career Bartolo Colon has had. If he could get a world championship tonight, it would all 
be pretty well capped off as LaRoche swings and misses. Jason Wirth will step in now. 0 for 1, ground out in the second for the longtime Washington National. Joining on a 31 count, one down, and the pitch. That's going to be inside. Worth is on his way to first, hoping for a round trip ticket at the expense of Bartolo Colon. He represents the tying run for Washington. Ian Desmond will come in. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout in the third. As the fans here in Washington are starting to get hyped. And if it wasn't for video game glitches, that guy would have, that mascot, would have fallen off the top of the dugout. His foot about hung halfway off of it. 2 1 count and the pitch. Check swing low. Desmond now going to take the strike. 2 2. Good mix. Or a good crowd here in Washington. A lot of Nationals fans in some smatterings of blue for the Minnesota Twins. As this one, ground ball right to Sano. Sano makes the grab, kicks it back to Maurer to get Worth at the tag out. And it is now 1-0 going into the sixth. What a heads up play by Sano. Catches that one off the bat, kicks it back to Maurer and that it's going to be a double play. Now Bartolo Colon will come up 0 for 1 with a strikeout in the third. Join it on a 2-1 count. And the delivery. Swing and a miss and it's now 2-2. Scherzer, 6 innings, 76 pitches. And the pitch. This one fouled off. Scherzer kicks and deals. This one popped up high. Running over to make the play is Desmond. Makes the catch in the shallow left field grass. So that's one down. And Scherzer through five and a third is allowed two hits, one run, and it was earned. It was the homer and six strikeouts. So yes, Bartolo Colon has had a very good game on keeping them off the, off the bases. But Scherzer's allowed less hits. If it wasn't for that home run, I would say Scherzer's having the better game. As he'll pitch to Presley. Presley fouls that one off across the third baseline. Count is now even at two. Scherzer with the delivery and the pitch. That's fouled off on the other end, except it's going across the first baseline. Count will hold 2-2. Scherzer kicks, fires. This one into shallow right field. It's down right at the feet of Bryce Harper. And he seems a little off tonight. Something is not quite there. Harper usually would make a, a better effort to get that one. It literally drops at his feet and Presley gets on. As Pedro Flormi Florian... Florimon, Florimon, who's 0 for tonight, will come in on a 2-1 count. And the delivery. This one, shallow ball headed for shallow center right left, but Desmond ranges over and makes the grab. Good heads up play by Ian Desmond, as we'll show you the play right here. Kind of ranges over and makes that grab. And as Joe Maurer, 0 for 2 with two flyouts, will be up next. Two down, and it's a 2 1 count. One on, and that man is Presley. Checks the runner and the delivery. This one, right to Desmond. Desmond fires to Murphy, and that's going to be out number three. So. We're headed to the bottom of the sixth. It's still 1-0 Minnesota. Can the Twins hang on? We'll find out as we are 
are almost out of the midway point of this game and entering the latter point. Adam Eaton will come on and pinch hit. So I believe that'll end the night for Max Scherzer. Caleb Thielbar in the bullpen for the Twins as Cologne delivers on a one-two count and this one is gonna go foul. Cologne agrees on the count with Castro and the delivery. Inside, almost hit him and it's 2-2. Two -two. Cologne with the pitch, and down goes Eaton. He goes down looking, he doesn't like the call, but it's gonna have to hold as he's gonna have to walk away. And now here comes Daniel Murphy. One run game, one out. Bottom of the sixth, it's, he's one for two with a single to lead this thing whole game off. Joining on a two-two count. And the pitch. This one right along the third baseline. What a dive by Miguel Sano. Fires it to Maurer, but it's not in time. Close play, but Sano within a tremendous dive. Look at that. Fires it, and good call by the ump at first. But Sano made that one interesting. Denard Span coming in on a 1 1 count. It, the score's decision is a base hit as Span will pop that one into deep left field, curling over, arranging over, trying to make the play. It is uh, Willingham, but it goes foul. It's now 1 2. And the pitch from Cologne. This one, fly ball. Left field, ranging back is gonna be Sano, makes the grab, and that's two down. As soon as it went up, they knew where to go. Ryan Zimmerman, one for two with a single back in the fourth tonight. Joining it on a full count, fans on their feet. They need a hit here. And the pitch, this one fouled off. This has been the story of the Washington Nationals tonight. They get base runners on. They get opportunities to tie this thing up, but they don't capitalize. Zimmerman, fly ball. This one's headed foul in right field. They need to get the opportunity, capitalize on these opportunities that Minnesota is giving them. And the pitch, fouled that one off. So Zimmerman feeling pretty good about his timing on Bartolo Colon right now. Full count, 87 pitches thrown through, five and two thirds by Colon. And this one, swing and a miss. Down goes Zimmerman and Bartolo Colon continues here in the World Championship game. We in the sixth, headed to the latter part of the game and it is one nothing Minnesota. This would be an upset should it hold. And here we are, we check in. Willingham, Willing, yeah, Willingham, one for two with a home run. Daniel Murphy, two for three in Cologne, six innings pitched, four hits, two walks, five strikeouts. Good performance by the longtime pitcher as Tyler Clippard will come in to pitch for the Nationals. Six foot three, 200 pound, 29 year old right hander. Miguel Sano will come on. He's one for two with a double in the fourth. So the Minnesota Twins have chased arguably the best starter in the league from this world championship game in Max Scherzer. Craig Stammen in the bullpen for the, for the Nationals. And the pitch to Sano. Swing and a miss. Change up. And it's 2-2. Dusty Baker may very well use one pitcher each inning to get this done tonight as Clippard kicks and deals. It's going to be just outside, and it's a full count. Jason Castro on deck for the Twins.
Clippard with the delivery. Sano fly ball, but it's headed foul. Clippard looking in. And the pitch. This one, shallow right field, ranging over, diving catch by Bryce Harper. Now that's what we're used to seeing from him. What a play by Bryce Harper. And should the Washington Nationals win, that will be a play that it, this game is remembered for. Wow. Jason Castro over two with a fly out and a pop out. Jonin sit on a 2-1 count, one down, thanks to the acrobatic move by Bryce Harper back in right. Drops a four-seamer down, and it's now 31 with Willingham, the home run hitter, from the, the third on deck. Clippard kicks and deals. This one, fly ball into left field. Worth ranging over, running, and it is going to go foul. Count stays full. And the delivery. Swing and a miss and down goes Castro. Not happy with that at all. As Willingham will come in. Let's take you back to the second. Willingham, no doubter. Into deep left center. 420 feet was the official measurement. Throwing it on a full count. Two down, nobody on. Clippard with the delivery. Fly balls, headed into left field. Worth camped under it, makes the grab. And now the Nationals trail by one at the stretch. It could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for a diving play by Bryce Harper. Nationals need to get their offense going. Wilson Ramos, 0 for 2, has ground out both times he's been at bat. Stepping in. Bartolo Colon, I believe, is still out there for the Twins. He is. Casey Fien in the bullpen for the Twins. 1-2 count and the pitch. Outside, slider, and it's now 2-2. Check the chat room real things. Oh man, I got a lot to catch up on. We got Beatles Eternally joining us in the thing. Yes, it's December and it's baseball. Beatles, how are you today? Thanks for joining our broadcast as I missed a double by Ramos as I checked the chat room. Gonna have to get my timing better on that as Ramos laces a double off the track And the Nationals have a chance here. And here comes the manager and that's gonna end Cologne's night. So now both starters are out and we'll see if the offenses can capitalize on that. We're gonna do a quick check in on the chat while we're doing that. As Caleb Thielbar will come in, he made an appearance in the AL pennant. Sorry, I meant to read some of the comments, but there is a lot of chat room action that I missed out on. So, uh, Thielbar will now come in to face Harper with a ta the tying run in scoring position. Harper can make up for the bonehead play he had back in the second when he got picked off at first. Join it on a 3-0 count, Thielbar. Checks Ramos at second, and the pitch, nobody down. In the zone, it's 31 now. Yeah, you guys really gotta go back and check out that pickoff towards the beginning of the game. It was not even close. As the pitch to Harper is gonna be in the zone. Full count, nobody down, Ramos. On second, a bit, little bit of a threat to run. They gotta try something, nobody has stolen any bases tonight. 
but they got to try something to get that runner into scoring position. Pitch Starper, swing and a miss, and down he goes. Oh, boy. Not looking good for Washington. This is what I keep saying. Washington gets base runners. They get opportunities, but they have not capitalized on them all night. Adam LaRoche, 0 for 2, strikeout in the line out thus far. Join it on a full count. Field bar. Checks the runner and the pitch. That is going to be fouled off. Big moment here in this World Championship game. The fans are loud. They are excited. And the pitch. This one, ground ball right to Maurer. Maurer's going to tag first, and that's going to get LaRoche out. But important move here is that Ramos is on third. The time run 90 feet away for the Washington Nationals. And Jason Worth, long time Washington National, has a chance to tie this one up. Join it on a 1-1 count. And the pitch. Fouled off. This has been Washington's best chance to get a run tonight. And the pitch to Worth. That's going to be just barely missing the zone. 2-2. Two -two. on third is Wilson Ramos. He isn't very fast. And the pitch. And he laces that one, but it gets outside the foul line, luckily for him. Otherwise, that would have been an automatic out. Well, as automatic as you can make it. 2-2 two -two count and the pitch. This one. Line drive into left field, but Willingham makes the catch and ends the national threat. We're headed to the eighth inning. It's 1-0 Minnesota. And if you're a Washington National fan, you've got to be thinking, oh no, not again. You are six outs away from losing a world championship for the second year in a row. And the Minnesota Twins, six outs away from winning their first world championship since 1991, 26 years ago. The pitch by Clippard on a full count to do look to Arcia. And it's going to be outside as Arcia gets on base. Brian Dozier will come in. He's popped out twice. I just scanned the chat. It looks like there's a lot of love going on between everybody. So I'm glad that this can be a, pl a positive place on the internet. Full count to Dozier. This one, fly ball, center right, back goes, span to the track, makes a running catch. And he's going to throw it back in to hold Arcia at first. That was a play that they had to make as Arcia was halfway to second when that catch was made. There is your starter comparison. And pretty good night for both of them, to be quite honest. I mean, you take away the home run that Willingham had off of Scherzer, and they're pretty even. And Jason Kubel, the hero from the AL pennant game, will come on. Make a pitch hitting appearance. And that'll end Field Bar's night. Join it on a 2 1 count. Runner on first. And the pitch. This one hit along the third base line, but it curves the wrong way. That was very similar to what Kubel did to win the pennant for the Twins earlier, or uh, two nights ago. And the pitch. This one fouled off, almost took the head off of Presley, who's on deck. 2-2 Two -two count. Clippard here in the top of the eighth. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and down goes Kubel. So he has one chance to make an impact in this game, and it goes past him. 
And as you can see, it's 1-0 thanks to a 420-foot solo shot into center left field by Josh Willingham. As Alex Presley, who's one for three with a single back in the sixth, will be the next batter up. Two down, one on on a 1-1 one -one count. Minnesota trying to win the world, first world championship since 1991. There goes the steal by Arcia, and that's not even close. Great throw by Ramos, and that's going to end the inning. So, through seven and a half, it's 1-0 Minnesota. But if you look at the hits for the teams, Washington has more. I guess Minnesota has just done more with their opportunities as Casey Fian will come in here in the bottom of the eighth. You got to get something going if you're Washington. You got to get get two base runners on. Get You got to do something to show that you can get the job done because you got Glenn Perkins warming up in the bullpen for the Twins. And the pitch, this one's going to be inside. And it's now 2-2. You got to do something to show that you can get the job done. Get Just get two runs in the bottom of the ninth. Or get a run here and then get the winning run in the ninth. There's, but you got to do something. You can't, you can't leave this inning empty-handed if you're the Nationals. As Desmond will get the pitch. This one into left field should be an easy catch by Willingham. It looked like it was going to drop a little bit more, but it carried an awful long ways right into the glove of Josh Willingham. Pretty easy play when you look at it. Nate McLeod will pitch it for Clippard. So his night is over. First appearance in the postseason. 2-1 count. And the delivery. He's going to be down slider. It's 2-2. This is about as good a time as any. So hopefully within the next few days, we will have the first game of our football classic, a one-and-done single elimination tournament featuring all 32 teams of the NFL. Hopefully we'll have that first game up by this week as well as Casey Fien strikes out McClough. And here comes Daniel Murphy, two for three with two singles tonight. So yeah, keep your eyes out for that. And then hopefully in about two weeks, we'll be starting the hockey and basketball classics as well. And the pitch to Murphy is gonna be way inside. And it's 31 with Denard Span on deck. Hey, Alan Beatles, why don't you guys put in the chat really fast who you're pulling for in this game. As Fien will deliver to Murphy, and that's going to be high. And Murphy gets on. Time run. Bernard Span will now approach as the go-ahead run. Bottom of the eighth, 0 for 3. Popped out in the sixth, his last at bat. 1-1 one, one count. Two outs, runner on first is Daniel Murphy. One run lead for Minnesota, bottom of the eighth. And the pitch. In the zone, it's 1-2. 93 mile an hour fastball right down the chute. Beatles wants Minnesota, and our Red Sox fans wants the Nationals to win because they lost it all last year. And the pitch, this one. Down in the zone, and Span goes down looking, and that's going to end the eighth. Time is running out for you. Al, if you want Washington to win, but this would be a heartbreaker to do all that work to get back to the World Championship game only to lose it two years in a row. And this time, it's only a one nothing game. Sean Doolittle, the 6'3", 210, 27-year-old right-hander, will come on for the Nationals. Got to shut this Minnesota Twins team down. Well, they've done a good job of that thus far. Sorry, he's a left-hander. As it's a 2-1 count. 
As this one popped up into right field, Harper running over, makes the play, and that's gonna be out number one here at the top of the ninth. 